Hey everybody, it's Jason with Parallel Reality coming back with you today, this time with an article from Breitbart. This is dated oh, November 11th, and it says, MSNBC anchor wonders how to live with family and friends who voted for Trump. And this is from John Nolte, who I've mentioned many times before, who is one of my favorite writers to read. And it's about Jonathan Capehart, this gentleman right here, who apparently is one of the most weak-minded individuals in existence. So it says, MSNBC anchor Jonathan Capehart is so torn over how in the world he or any Democrat can live with Trump voting. Voters, he conducted a struggle session live on the air. It says this is amazing. Even more amazing is who Capehart sees as a religious leader. And who is this person here? I don't know who it is. It's not put in there. It says, okay. So he says, the thing that I'm grappling with is that someone who's elected who ran a campaign that was openly hostile, openly racist, xenophobic, misogynistic, transphobic, all the buzzwords. How do we move forward when we know there are people in their families who voted for him, meaning Trump? They work with people who voted for him. They live next to people who voted for him. How should we deal with those neighbors, co-workers, and family members? Well, Jonathan, it's very simple. You just go on with your life. Okay, you are in a bubble. You're using all the buzzwords. Trump, I want you to look at what you said here and provide me with just one example of each of each of these or just one example of one of those where he was that what did he say okay because i guarantee you anything you're going to say can be easily disproven because you don't know what the hell you're talking about so it says msnbc's idea of a faith leader is gene robinson a retired episcopal bishop who left his wife and children for another man just so you know it says capehart is walking is a walking example of the hate and intolerance that dominate the left and how they couch their own bigotry through the soft prissy voice of victimhood and Jonathan Capehart, you are not a victim. You are you have like your own news programs, okay? You work at MSNBC and the Washington Post. You are anything but a victim. It says Capehart is the bad guy here. Totally agree. It says he's the villain. Although he poses as weak and helpless, he's the one grappling with how to tolerate people who dared to defy him. And that's all this is about. Little Johnny didn't get his way and now sniff or he wants everyone to get hit by a train. No, 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 no. What he really is, is a vicious bully looking to normalize and justify the shunning of those who do not join his progressive Reich. That is correct. It says, all around us we see these disappointed, entitled, spoiled brats melting down online like oversized babies because they did not get their way. But there's a big difference between baby babies and those like Capehart having a tantrum. The outlook Capehart is looking to justify and twist into that dumb, simplistic, and fascist oppressor, oppression oppressor mold is this. If your mom votes for Trump, she's oppressing you. She's an oppressor. How can you not shun her? Yes, it's a horrible way of looking at things. Does this only leads in one direction? The, the dehumanization of mom to a point where after a natural disaster, FEMA shuns her and Capehart is smugly okay with mom getting what mom deserves. I'm sure that's talking about, let me see what happened in Florida. All right. It says, yes, Capehart is pathetic. There's a lot of pathetic going around on the left these days. They still haven't figured out how to react to Trump's win. There's no Russia collusion hoax this time. He won the popular vote this time. Watch this desperate and dumb DEI hire try to scandalize the public about the cost of deportations. That's Kristen Welker. Um, and yeah, I, I remember saying something like this, but I'll let you go. I'm not going to play it, but you can go ahead and click on the link below and check it out. Last couple of sentences here. It says, they got nothing, so they're showing us who they really are. How petty, bitter, and mean they are. By shunning friends and family as bigoted vermin so for no sin other than defying them in the voting booth. No matter how hard you try, you will never hate the corporate media half as much as they hate you. That is correct as well. Spot on article. And again, as I've mentioned a million times before, anytime I get a chance to clown on the media, I will do that as well. So here is your weak man here. And uh, just give him a piece of your mind, but, you know, nothing bad. Let me know what you think about it in the comments below. Like, share, subscribe, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.